Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Good morning viewers In this video we will be discussing about the Astro Numerology Part 2 We have already released the Part 1 video If you have not seen that I will provide the link in the description box of this video You can go and see that video So that you will be able to understand the sequence behind finding a lucky number In this video There will be a typical example And based on the questions raised and the suggestion given by the client will be looking at how the lucky number is derived so if you are new to this channel keep this channel subscribed so that you could get my videos instantly also if you like this video click to like share with your friends and groups so astronomy is like comparing the birth date and comparing the values derived with the personal chart and we have already discussed in our previous session based on the birth date there will be two values derived one is the date value and another is the lifeline value lifeline value is nothing but the sum of the date month and year into a single digit and uh, we have discussed about the values and the planets assigned and then we will be comparing the values derived against the personal chart and find out whether the values actually derived from the date and lifeline will give a positive result or not also we had raised certain standard questions and uh, a customer had replied to certain questions and uh, we will be walking through those replies and uh, we will be summarizing whether the number is really lucky for the client or not data of one of my client and he agreed to publish this he is Mr. Raj Shekhar he is born on 25th March 1974 at 8.30 pm at Kollam so when you see the date value it becomes 2 plus 5 which is 7 so you can see the 2 value represents moon and the value 5 represents mercury so moon and mercury together forms a value for Ketu so this person will have initially a, a, a type of dilemma he will not have a fixed mind as moon changes for every 15 days and it is very fast moving planet so he decides very quickly and sometimes will be very much positive and sometimes he turns out to be negative and also it depends upon his knowledge that is like mercury it forces him to take certain decision when moon is very weak it may turn out to be a failure and often he, he likes to be alone because he is away from the crowd so initial 30 years 30 to 40 years in his life he may not mix with the people he don't want to stand out in the crowd instead he will try to be silent even in school days you don't mix with the people you don't like to be a friendly person like uh, you will be a person who is who is more interested to stay alone but gradually what happens he turns to become a, a person who will advise other people and guide people and become very much dynamic because if you see the lifeline value which is the 7 plus the month value is 3 and the year value 1 plus 9 plus 7 plus 4 which becomes 21 which is again 3 it becomes 7 plus 3 plus 3 which becomes 13 and the, the value becomes 4 so this lifeline value 13 turns out to be 4 the value of Rahu so in his later part of his age he could be very much lucky he may achieve certain things and his prosperity level will also increase and he could become a, a senior person he could guide others because one indicates sun sun implies the leadership quality the dynamism a person can take and 3 is nothing but a value of Jupiter so he is more disciplined and he makes other follow certain principles so in his later age he may not be alone but at the same time he will try to guide people and he will be more strict also so now let us compare the data given by him now based on the data if you can see that birth date which is 25th of March 1974 
the date value becomes 7 and uh, the lifeline becomes 4 which we have already seen and interestingly the person's marriage date seems to be 16th of September 2007 where you can see the day value becomes 7 and the lifeline value is also 7 again the first company joined the date it is 15th of March 1996 if you sum the day value it becomes 6 and if you consider the lifeline value it again turns out to be 7 and is best increment date it looks it is 13th of uh, April 1997 so the day value becomes 4 and the lifeline again becomes 7 and this promotion date is 13th of April 1997 where the increment and promotion date seems to be the same so again for this person the day value becomes 4 and lifeline value becomes 7 and if you can see the chart the value 7 repeats lot for almost the occurrences 6 times in all the positive occurrences and twice in the day and 4 times in case of the lifeline so we can say this 7 seems to be really lucky but again this is not a solution but we need to compare the lifeline chart also in case of unfavorable dates the date on which the father expired is on 2nd of July 2006 where the day value becomes 2 and lifeline value becomes 8 so we conclude that the values 2 and 8 may not be so favorable again let us check the personal chart to see whether these numbers are really not favorable or partially favorable based on the chart generated on the data given by the person you can see the ascendant being Libra and the zodiac being Aries in the third house you could see Rahu and in fourth house the ascendant Lord Venus is there and in fifth house there is a congestion of planets Mercury and Jupiter and in sixth house Sun is there and in seventh house obviously Moon is there and in eighth house Mars is there and in ninth house Saturn and Ketu both are conjected so we know that uh, in a particular chart the second house 4th house, 7th house, 9th house and 11th houses seems to be the lucky places because it provides more profits to the person so if you see in this case the first house the Lord Venus is at 4th house being good to an extent but there is no much support for the value of Venus to this person again the second house Lord is at 8th house so it is not so favorable so the same second house Lord is responsible for the 7th house also but interestingly you can see there is an exchange of house between Saturn and Mercury so Mercury is being seated at the house of Saturn and Saturn seated at the house of Mercury so by the way of exchange of houses both the planets becomes positive and Ketu being associated with the house of uh, Mercury which is Gemini here and generally Rahu Ketu behaves based on the how it gets associated now it now the ketu becomes very strong as the house the lord of the house mercury is being a ruler there because it's already uh, got an, uh, an advantage that uh, it it takes the power of saturn here because both saturn and mercury had exchanged their houses and uh, by this way it becomes a ruler so the ninth house becomes very strong also uh, we have denoted in the previous examples that this particular horoscope holder having 7 is very lucky because here Ketu being at 9th house and the house Ketu is associated as Gemini and Mercury being the house owner of the Gemini is getting a, a positive effect because it, it exchanged the house between Saturn and Mercury so it becomes a yoga here so we can easily identify the lucky number as 7 to this person by this way um, after getting the value based on the lifeline value as well as the day value we could able to predict certain values based on the past data this is one of the method and comparing the value with the basic chart we could able to establish a good thing there is one more positivity here Jupiter aspects the fifth house from ascendant 
Jupiter is placed at fifth house and is a, it aspects the ninth house where Saturn and Ketu is there. By this way, Ketu becomes even more stronger because it becomes positively very strong. So all these aspects prove that the number seven or the value seven seems to be more profitable and it could be the lucky number for this chart owner. So we can easily say by establishing all these values, it is easy to narrow down a value and we can claim that this particular value def definitely support the person in long run. So in next video we will see different aspects, different methods of finding the lucky number in uh, different scenarios.